So, Fright Night is upon us. You've been in there with the main man, Yusik, yourself. You've, you've, felt, you've felt his, his energy. Yeah. You know, what, what was it about him that you felt was, gives him his power? What's kept him undefeated? I think his presence, his persona, the way he carries himself. He carries himself as a champion. He's mm. done everything there is to do in boxing. He's going to enter this ring with supreme confidence and he believes that you know, no one can put a dent in him. I, I, I sense that when he got in the ring. Mm. But now, coming upon this new weight division, coming across someone like Derek Chisora, mm. it's, it's an individual and it's a kind of person who he's never came across yeah. before. A man who fears him in no way, <laughs> shape or form, who doesn't care what he can do, how good he is. Mm. Derek just wants to fight mm. and these pose different problems to Alexander Usyk mm. and something I feel that he'll be very vulnerable to on the night. Yeah. Do you think the shot that knocked out Carlos Takam, mm. you know, the shots that took out David Price, do you think Usyk can get through a 12-round contest, 36 minutes, without one of those shots catching him on the side of his head or around his yeah. body? Do you think he can somehow navigate for 12 rounds away from Derek Chisora coming at him fully charged? I don't believe that he can stay away for 12 rounds, no. The Derek Chisora that got in the ring with Artur Spilker was an animal, a mm. man possessed, and he closed the range so quickly, and the way he slings the right hand round the side, even when Spilker's gloves are up, he still finds a way through mm. that guard. Yeah. Usyk will at times go to the ropes, and he will see him want to feel what Derek's got. He will, he will take this approach. Derek can pull the shans down, he can come down the sides. Just the sheer weight of Derek's punches will be a shock to Alexander Usyk. It's all about, for me, how much can he put that pressure yeah. on, how often can he stay there in the pocket yeah. and make him work. And you guys have worked him really hard. He's in unbelievable shape. As I've said before, against Spilker is the perfect kind of stone. Yeah, you know, similar height. Yeah, similar. it's a similar build. He moves well, he's a southpaw. It's just Derek now needs to be another 30, 40% mm. on top of that, the speed of his feet, how quick he closed the range, and ultimately how many he lands. He mm. only needed one against yeah. Spilker. Mm. I believe that he might need two or three mm. on the bounce to get rid of yeah. Usyk. The first one may rock him, but his, his defensive instinct will kick in and mm. his feet will go into overdrive. Mm. He's got to be at that moment when Usyk's defensive side kicks in, mm. he's got to explode onto yeah. him and not let him off the hook. And I believe he can do it. He looks in unbelievable shape. I've never seen him physically look so good. No. And the most important thing is mentally, he's so calm, he's so mm. relaxed, and that's the best thing I've seen for him. Do you think Usyk is tough enough? He's a cruiser, he's tough enough at yes. cruiserweight. No one's ever questioned his, uh, his physicality at cruiserweight against another nine, 90 kilogram yeah. fighter. Do you think he's tough? How, do you think he's tough enough to deal with someone 115 kilograms? I think the thing that the, the point that people miss in, in the cruiserweight division. He has all the advantages. Mm. He's a huge cruiserweight. Mm. He's always getting in the ring anything over 95, 96 kilos. You know, other cruiserweights usually get in around 93, 92. Yeah. So he's always had these advantages. For the first time in his career, someone is physically bigger and stronger. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean in height because mm. that's not going to play a part in this fight. I'm talking about the physical size of a man, his mm. strength on the inside. When he grabs you, locks mm. you up, this is the kind of thing that he's never experienced mm. before. We've seen in the Chaz Witherspoon fight that he was just so much more bigger, yeah. so much more dominant. It was an easy, it was a walk in the park. Mm -hmm. It was an easy introduction to the heavyweight division. This is now a real test. This mm -hmm. is where we find out, do I think he can absorb what Derek can throw? Not if it's coming at pace, not if it's yeah. coming consistently. Yes, mm -hmm. I think he can avoid Derek if it comes in ones and twos. Yeah. Can he avoid it when it comes in fives and sixes and it's repetitive, it's round after round after round? At some point, he's going to have to stand and get that extra respect. Yep. You know the yep. thing, David. You have to hit yep. a fighter and go, oh, you've got to make mm. him feel it. Mm. I'm not so sure mm. Alexander Usyk can do that. Mm. Yes, he could do it to me. I'm, yeah. I'm deep down, I'm a cruiserweight. Can he do it to, you a know... A natural heavyweight. A, a big heavyweight, a guy who's being hit off yourself. Yeah. Vitaly yeah. Klitschko. A huge puncher in David Price. Yeah. This guy's being hit off anyone and everyone. And, you know, he very rarely gets stopped in his tracks. Mm. It, it takes a real big monster puncher mm. to halt Derek Chisora in his tracks. Mm. I don't put Alexander Usyk in that bracket, especially mm. the head. In the cruiserweights, he's really mm. strong, accurate, very brutal, you know, hateful type of puncher. Yeah. It's not one of them punches where you go, boom, it's over. Yeah. 
you know, it was stay, with me. Stay, stay, it stings, 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 stings you, stings you. And that's a cruise. But that always... shot you got, you got caught with mm. was in the seventh round? The eighth round. So the eighth round mm. wouldn't have done much to you in round two when you was fresh. Yeah, it you didn't, had, yeah. Yeah, you right. was getting caught with similar shots yeah. and you was okay. It was okay. only when you were tired. Mm. Derek Chisora... Isn't going to get tired. He's not going to get tired like that. He's, he's significantly bigger and the shots won't have as much impact. I, I definitely feel... Usyk, I've seen him walking around, I see a man who's 100% confident. Yeah. His coach said to me, I had a nightmare about the fight. Um, Alex is, is his manager, he said, I had a nightmare about the fight last night. I'm thinking, okay, yeah. things are getting real for you. I said, yeah. what happened? He went, I, I, I dreamt that we, we won by split decision. Oh, can you imagine? That was all his <laughs> brain could the have. That was the nightmare. <laughs> Winning by split decision. That's how confident they are. Yeah. And I think that sums up their whole team. That's the worst performance. That's, That's the worst performance in his I eyes is, a, a lose, is winning a split decision. Winning still. Oh. So in my mind, Derek Chisora, in the first round, second round, third round, when he's applying that pressure, when he's closing that range, when he's forcing music to fight, his team are going to start squealing. He's going to start making noises to the referees and start looking for a way out. In my mind, this is, this is how I see the fight playing out. Mm. And I think it's going to be exciting. I think Yusik is a warrior. I yeah. think he wouldn't have won the Olympics. He wouldn't have won yeah. all of the fights he'd won if you didn't have that inner beast. Mm. I believe he is, but I don't think he's had to bring it out that often. Mm. And when he's going to bring it out, he's going to be bringing it out against the, uh, just a bigger beast. Bigger and when they stand toe-to-toe -to -toe and start trading, the fans are in for an absolute treat because it's we know what Derek's going to do. He doesn't. We don't have a plan C, D, and E. No, yeah. it's, it's plan A and plan B, and that's A and that's B, and they just keep swinging. Keep going. Plain and simple. And let's not try and reinvent the wheel here. Let's work with what Derek does best and just make it as good as it can be. And let's just let's just enjoy this uh, this, this Halloween fright night. <laughs> it's inconceivable for them yeah. to, to even think about losing. No, exactly. And for him to say, my nightmare was a, a split decision win, it's just, <laughs> oh, psst, I can't understand. I've never heard of a nightmare where somebody wins, where you win. Yeah. It's just, you know, a night... Listen, when they, when they see what starts happening in round three and four, the nightmare is going to become reality. So I was here ringside at the Manchester Arena when you, when you went in there against Yusik. And off the back of our two fights, yeah. you know, the hype was through the roof. You know, you proved people wrong on two occasions, and here you were looking to do it on a third, and everyone wanted to be there. Um, how much did the crowd play a part when you walked out here? It was a crazy night, this. Uh, I was real calm in the dressing room and the changing room. I wasn't really nervous. I started getting over-anxious when I, I started the ring walk, because all the build-up, when, when I was fighting yourself, it was always everyone was wanted to see me get my head took off. I, I had a mindset of people just want to see me get beat up, so yeah. I, I hated everyone. Yeah. I hated the world, and, and I just, I wanted to prove everybody wrong. And when I proved them wrong, certain things come to the forefront, emotional things, stuff like that. But in this fight, There's I just, all love, there's all love yeah, from the crowd, okay, yeah. It is, it, it is there, there to support you and stuff like that, but I'm walking to the ring here, the crowd, and you know, you're happy, but I'm just thinking, get to the ring, prove everyone wrong, shut this, yeah. shut this guy up. That's mm. all I kept thinking to yeah. on me, that ring will just, I've got to beat him, I've got to beat him, I've got to beat him. And he, he was in my mind every minute all the way through. Yeah. Do you feel the lack of crowd for Derek Chisora will be a hindrance to him and his star? I, I don't think it will because he knows the, the seriousness and the importance of the challenge. He mm. knows what he's up against in Alexander Usyk. He, he, he's took it on board. He's trained and prepared brilliantly. And when Usyk hits him, it then gets real, really. Mm. So, you know, there's no time to feel, oh, the crowd's not here, oh, I can't hear any noise. It's like, he's just punched me in the face. Yeah. Go and do what you've trained to yeah, do. Yeah. And I think that's how he'll approach it and that's how he'll do it. So it's two completely different ball games. As I say, for me here, I'm on top of the world. I've just sold out the MEN. Me and you have sold out the, the O2 twice on the spin and you're the box office fighter and you're happy, but... Forget all that. that yeah, it's that, not that. about you're not thinking that when no, you're in there. That's when you're in there, it's just as... survival of the yeah. fittest. And all I'm thinking is, I've got to find a way to beat this man. Yeah. I've got to find a way to beat this man. I'm going over the game plan in my head time and time again, and you just get with it. And as I say, when when Usyk's walking here, I think this is the first time he's been in 
are really sold out yeah, arena. This yeah, is the sure. first time he's been in. First experience. It's all him. well and good doing that WBS yeah, thing. Yeah, it's not the same. That, that tournament where, you know... This is the Lions' yeah, den here. this is it, mate. This is where it really does me. So, you know, he fights the final against Gassiev in Russia. Yeah. And they just sit there. Yeah, and no, just no atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. And he walks in and I say, you can definitely see, now I get far too evolved, yeah. involved emotionally in it. And I'm like, this is... I shouldn't have been like that at that moment of the yeah, fight. Yeah, should have held it in. Yeah, should have just held it Should have just turned around and relaxed. When I fought yourself, I, I love your ring walk music. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I'm, you that, embraced it. Yeah, then that, I actually saw you dancing. <laughs> I was like, no, it's not for you, it's for me. <laughs> oh, you didn't dance into my tune. It, it's crazy, because <laughs> my mother, my mum, we grew up on that song in the house, yeah. and, and Luther Van Ross, you know, yeah. Marvin Gaye, all them, Stevie Wonder, all them music yeah. went through our house. Yeah. So I was just like, I was so calm and happy. I'm here, it's on the biggest stage possible, and I'm just dancing in here, I'm thinking... You had, a, you had a different energy, yeah. you had a completely different energy. I was there ringside watching it, and I remember seeing how calm and cool you were before when I was walking to yeah. it, because I could see you dancing to my song. Yeah. I, I saw a different person in the ring here, you was a lot more wound up, you yeah. was a lot more like you had a point to prove, yeah. whereas when you fought me, it was like, you knew what was going to happen. Yeah. You, you felt, mm. and it was a, it, maybe, Usyk has a skill of getting into your head to make you think you're in the, going to be in the biggest fight of your life, which yeah. takes you out of your game plan. Definitely. What we've point. done, what we've done with Derek is we've we've made sure that the sparring partners are live. We've told the sparring partners this isn't a sparring match. Take From the first bill, don't touch gloves. Go out there like it's a fight, and let's go. Let's yeah. go to work. If you knock Derek down, it's a thousand pound. So go to work. And these guys are rookie. So Derek's used to being in a sparring environment with yeah. no crowd and having someone teeing off on him. Mm. And I feel that definitely is going to switch him on quicker yeah. if there is no crowd cheering and chanting his name. Mm. So we've, we've tried to implement certain things in training to replicate what it's going to be What's like, on, be fight, like? On, fight, on fight night. But you never know of with course. a 10-ounce glass. Once the lights are on, you never know what's going to happen. But I believe Derek Azor is in, in a place where he's going to be as optimal as humanly possible. When he walks to that ring, he knows what he's in for. Yeah. He knows what, what it's about. He hasn't prepared for 12 months for one man for no. nothing. And it won't, uh, in my opinion, the crowd not being there, be, it doesn't play any mm. significance. Once he gets out on the chops. Way. Yeah. And he stays. Once he pops him with that, with that South Force dance, and, and Derek automatically then will revert to type and go, I've seen this before. Yeah, been, I've been here. doing it. I've been doing it for the last year in camp, mm. fresh guys. That, mm. Do what I've trained to do. He's been sparring exhausted. He's been sparring. He's been yeah. exhausted in sparring where he's going, oh, that's done. And he's like, no, no we've got more. two more rounds. And he's going, oh, my arm, my leg. We're like, no, we've got to do it. We forced him to do it. And after he's done those extra rounds, it feels so much better. He's like, thanks so much for keeping me in there. Yeah. And in the past, when he said, oh, my arm, that's prior they stopped the spar. Yeah. We, I was like, Derek, if you can't get through training camp, how are you supposed to get through this guy? Yeah so fortunate we pushed it we pushed it to a level where some people would say maybe you've much, maybe you're taking it too far but we no i know this is this is derek's time yeah. he's going to get through it and he did we know how robust he is we know how strong and tough he mm. is he could he, we had six sparring partners for 12 rounds two rounds apiece, and all of them were trying to chin him yeah and he was working he was really going he was it. going through it and Brilliant. and he he can't be any fitter he can't yeah. be any more tuned in and i think there's a there's, there's a there's an aura of confidence that he's never had before. And uh, we're in a great place. That kind of thing will stand him in great stead. And as I say, when he walks to the ring, when he gets in that ring, he know, no stone has been left no. on him. He knows, you yeah. know what he's done. Mm. It'll give him such a massive amount of confidence going mm. into this fight. Now we're finally here, David. Let me know what, what's going to happen. I can't wait. Derek Chisora, live on Sky Sports box office, is going to call the, cause the biggest upset on British soil for many a year and we're going to be there ringside to enjoy every moment Let's of it.